importante que inicie toda la vaina. Ahora tiene que ponerte a un lado. Para poder tomar la foto. Um, quiero darle gracias a todos, a familia Bodega de Fort Bill, de Group, a um, Barry Shop, a uh, Independent, a uh, Supermarket Owner. We here to talk about the support that we are giving, we asking uh, major area islands not to resign. Nobody is, is guilty on this proving. So uh, uh, I've been working uh, special for body safety since uh, the last five, six years. I've been fighting for the safety. We have gained a lot of um, security safety lately uh, with the area with the area. Adam. So during, during 2020, 2021, 2022, the violence was too high. We even got here, even Jose Alba that was a victim of the crime on that time. Um, well, any progress that we have gained, we don't want to lose that. We want to to go back, we don't want to, uh, to go to the extremist uh, left, the people, leaders, that they are proving that they always are against the police, against race, uh, law and order, and we need to stand up behind the mayor and tell him not to, to not to resign. Let's prove that, that your case, it was not fabricated. That's why we all believe that was a fabricated. We gotta understand something. That, um, Mario Cuomo is the best example. He was forced out, and now he has come clean for all of the charge that he was input. So that's what we gotta see. And uh, we we have um, we have faith that the mayor is gonna come up come up clean with the case, the the, the charge that that he, he is facing. So we, the bodegas and the small business. Um, the, com the business community, we're here for him. Even the community, we are here for, for them because the community knows that we need public safety. We have to keep fighting for the public safety. So now I'm gonna say in Hispanic. Yeah. Estamos aquí, quiero dar las gracias a todos. Estamos aquí en la Centro Bodeguero, en los comerciantes, el dueño de supermercados, independientes, barberos, y demás dueños de pequeños negocios. Estamos aquí porque nosotros entendemos que debemos defender lo que es la seguridad pública. En los últimos años nosotros hemos estado peleando por la seguridad pública. Durante el tiempo de, la, de, de, de 2020, 21, 22, la situación estaba mucho más difícil. Eri Adam ha venido trabajando eh, para mejorar la seguridad pública, aunque él heredó muchas leyes que están en contra de la policía, en contra de la seguridad pública. Nosotros entendemos que él ha hecho un gran trabajo, aún teniendo el Consejo Municipal en su contra, teniendo la Asamblea mayormente también en su contra, él ha hecho lo que más ha podido por mejorar la seguridad pública, por trabajar con el housing, muchos proyectos, todos estos proyectos que se tienen desarrollando, que están en plan de desarrollo, no podemos permitir que se vayan a quedar en el aire ahora y no podemos permitir que personas que han sido lo que han estado promoviendo el, que le quitan los fondos a la policía los desorden, el, el ataque a los comerciantes eh, que le han quitado el poder a los policías no podemos permitir que esas personas vengan a tomar el, el, el poder tenemos que entender que quienes están detrás de eso han sido exactamente las personas que, van, que han motivado eh, el desorden. Cuando no hay ley y orden, viene el desorden, viene el caos. Y nosotros no podemos permitir eso. Tenemos que unirnos todos y pedir que mientras Eri Adam no sea culpable, no se le, no se le, no se le eh, pruebe que el cargo era sido imputado, él es culpable, él es, el ino él es inocente. La presunción de, de inocencia tenemos que mantenerla, tenemos que apoyarlo y vamos a seguir en esa lucha. Vamos a continuar pidiéndole al alcalde, no renuncie, eh, vamos a trabajar hasta que se demuestre. Alan, fight, Alan, fight, Alan, fight, Alan, fight, Alan, fight, Alan, fight, Alan, fight. So that's what we want. So we want that he fight the, the, the case. Um, Oleg remembers those people that are behind. Um, 
take this case, other the same people that they are promoting, they were promoting the violence, the, 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 the police, the bail reform, the bill 586. We can have no those guys in charge of the city because that they will turn in the chaos. And we don't need no chaos. This is the greatest city in the world and we have to defend it. We have to come all together to defend it. Our authority, the people who really want to serve and want to guarantee the public safety for our city. So now we're going to have uh, Carlos Pellaro. He's part of the bodegas and the small business group, and he also is a supermarket owner. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, Frank, for that kind words. Some might ask, why are we here? We are here simply because we want the laws to be followed. We want presumption of innocence. Presumption de inocencia para nuestro alcalde. Uh, we understand that when you try to do what's morally correct, and I say that because the mayor was one of the few elected officials who stood by our working class, our working man, when Jose Alba had to defend himself, all the other, most of the other elected officials, it wasn't politically expedient for them to defend the working class because it seems that we are up against a current that defends criminals over the working class. I had an incident on my store yesterday where this career criminal attacked my employees with a hammer. What happens when another employee gets a bat and the officials, the, the law of officials get there, they're trying to focus the attention on the employee with the bat. This is the climate that the extreme left has pushed on us. Working class gets on the back burner while they're just constantly defending the criminals. Eh, lo digo en español. Eh, no, nuestros oficiales electos muy pocos vinieron a defender la clase trabajadora, la clase que tiene que poner horas, eh, eh, bastantes horas trabajando, porque la ola, la corriente que, que se mueve ahora mismo es el defender a los criminales. En nuestro pequeño negocio ya muchas veces ni llamamos a las autoridades, pero precisamente ayer tuve yo un caso en una de mis tiendas donde un criminal que ya la, a, casi en todos los negocios del área lo, lo tenían fichado por estar robando, le sacó un a martillo a, a mis empleados y casi le da. Cuando otro empleado viene y saca un bate y la policía llega, ah, ¿qué pasó? ¿Por qué tienen un bate? Ellos se enfocan más en defender a los criminales porque está bajo la presión de estos eh, legisladores izquierdistas extremos en la ciudad, en el, en el Consejo Municipal, donde hasta vetaron, la, eh, eh, deshacieron un veto que el alcalde hizo y el móvil han tenido las manos del alcalde atadas y él ha hecho lo mejor que ha podido. Y cuando él entonces trata de hacer lo correcto, lo han atacado local, estatal y ahora en Washington. Uh, our mayor, despite having his hands tied against this uh, extreme lefty uh, uh, laws, the, he has done the best that he could uh, to do what's right for the city. And we feel that because of that, uh, he has been targeted. He has had the council against him. They, uh, they um, undid a veto, okay, they, they annulled a veto. Then Albany has had its hands tied uh, with all these discovery laws and bail reform that are constantly protecting the criminals that have, and, and we can all see it in the, in the news every day. 20 arrests, 25 arrests, 30 arrests. When is this madness going to stop? So when the mayor stands behind working class and not in favor of the criminals, then it goes all the way up to Washington, because just like most of us here are immigrants and we support uh, sensible immigration. And the mayor did that as well at the beginning. But then when he was punished, okay, for saying, wait a minute, this is not the immigration that we're, we're accustomed to. This is not, we want law and order. We want uh, immigration that makes sense. Then he gets targeted. No, he will not stand for that. And Mr. Mayor, we ask you to fight, 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 Presumption of innocence, okay? That is the law. Some folks have asked me, why are you there? Why are you defending the mayor? Well, because we want the law. We want to follow the law. Presumption of innocence. Innocent until proven guilty. Y no sé, hasta que se pueda comprobar que es culpable. Así es que, uh, Jackie, I think you want to say a word. Uh, all right, thank you, everyone. Good afternoon. And you know it is a good afternoon because we are all out here today to say enough is enough. Enough is enough. Stop.
picking on the mayor because he's trying to save our city. You have one of the best mayors ever. Adam, Mayor Adams is one of the best mayors we ever had that care about the city. You know what he is guilty of? Caring too much about the city. He is guilty because he look out for people like the bodega, the businesses, the community, the organizations, saving children's lives. You want to talk about public safety? Let me tell you a story about Mayor Adams and public safety. Before Mayor Adams became the mayor of this great city, Mayor Adams in 2006 stood on the steps of City Hall as the 100 law enforcement and the sergeant of the police department with my organization, naming my organization, Harlem a mother saying, I'm a mother who lost two kids to gun violence. And Mayor Adams called the question, who's giving our kids? And Mayor Adams found out it was two bodegas giving guns, and he shut it down and he wasn't needed. We need the elected officials to do their public safety. We need the elected officials to stand with the mayor and help him as he do his public safety. Public safety has not been right until Mayor Adams came. So that's why we stand here today. He's not stepping down. God got him. God got him. And we got him. We his angels. We his angels. We got him. But let me say this. Let your officials better be very careful. And all of you in media, I want you to hear this. Tell them. They got an election coming up. We will we put them in and we will take them out. We put them in and we will take them out. We put them in and we will take them out. And I mean it. So they better stop it. Everybody's getting ready to put other people in that don't do nothing. Hate the police, hate the Jews, hate everybody. So how dare them? How dare them when this mayor is everywhere and doing so much for everybody. He's only one person, so all of us in this community need to step up. Because we sick and tired. Are we sick and tired? Yes. Sick and tired. We sick and tired of being sick and tired. Leave the day alone. We stand with him, and we stand just two of us. We stand with him for four more years. Four more years. Four more years. Four more years. I want to thank Eddie Adam because during um, Jose Alba Bosa President, not all the elected officials came to support him. Eddie Adam went to the store and he said, What I saw here was a working man defending himself. And I know what it means because I've been, I have been shot three different times in my life in different stores. And I know what it is, the violence is. And that's why we fight for violence. Our main focus um, is public safety. And that's the duty of all of the elected officers that should focus on public safety. Now we're going to have a, a gentleman that he has been fighting for public safety as well, Sheikh Musa. Yes. 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 Good afternoon. Yes. And welcome to Washington High. Yes. Welcome to Dominican Republic. Yes. Thank you, my brothers, and thank you, my sisters, for coming here today. I just want to remind my fellow New Yorkers that, number one, Eric Adams is duly elected mayor of the greatest city in the nation. Number two, Eric Adams 
who has been duly elected has not lost his due process right, therefore calling for him to resign without conviction is actually against the law. That is against the Constitution. So we just want to let the federal government, if you think somebody commits a crime and is our mayor, no, the four hypocrites who are calling for his resignation are the ones committing the crime. They are going against the law and you should go after them because I promise you, New Yorkers will go after them during election time because they are unsuitable to leaders. Number three, Mayor Eric Adams is not incapacitated to carry out his duties. The same mayor that over 700,000 New Yorkers chose to be their mayor is the same mayor with the same faculty, same attributes, same leadership, and same public service mentality. We also want the federal government to know that Mayor Eric Adams' story did not start a week ago. Mayor Adams is a lifelong public servant. And Mayor Eric Adams, in one of the most difficult periods of this city, joined the largest police force so that he can be in it to change it. And from there, he spent 22 honorable years patrolling some of the roughest neighborhoods protecting us. So we appreciate the government trying to protect us, but guess what? We trust Mayor Eric Adams better because he has actually done it. And he done it in the most difficult circumstances during the worst times. And we can depend on Mayor Eric Adams. We can rely on him to protect us. The second thing is this. Mayor Eric Adams came to a city with over hundred billion dollars in budget. And this city is a minority, majority city. And before Mayor Eric Adams, major contractors don't even live in the city. Minorities who have contracts, who graduate from universities, who are competent, capable professionals, could not get access to contracts that they are so entitled to because they were minorities, even though they are the majority. What Mayor Eric Adams went to NYPD to do to fix it from within is the same mentality he came to City Hall to fix City Hall, and he has done a marvelous job. If you look at his administration, you will see more female empowered leaders than any leader before him. If you look at his administration, it is represented by people from all walks of life, all backgrounds, all neighborhoods, and all zip codes. Today, more minority business owners have access to this contract within three years. Imagine what he can do in eight years. Now, if a leader who happens to be black, by the way, I don't want to forget that, a black man who happens to be able to do that will pay a price. And price is pain. But one thing I'm going to leave you with. Mayor Adams is not walking alone. He's not on the journey alone. He will never ever resign. He will never ever be removed because he was elected by New Yorkers. And the New Yorkers is serving tremendously well. And as long as he is discharging his duties, no hypocrites who are calling for his resignation because they want to take over his position will ever prevail. We are going to be everywhere until he is exonerated so that New Yorkers will continue to benefit from his leadership so that we can have four more years of Mayor Eric Adams. God bless you all and thank you and long live the Big Apple. Thank you. Yes, now I'm going to bring the lawyers that have been working with Jose Alba to say a couple of words. Yes, hello, my name is uh, Richard Cardinale and I'm representing Jose Alba and his lawsuit against the city of Manhattan.
I'm of a different political party than Mayor Adams, but I'm here today for two reasons. One, when a lot of politicians were scared to defend Jose, and he was in jail, a senior citizen who never committed a crime in his life, he defended himself in his and he was in a video. Eric Adams saw the video, went to the media, and told the truth about what he saw, and thank goodness, Jose Alvin, a murder of Florida, it was completely false, was dropped, and he came to get on with his life. The second reason I'm here, as a lawyer, I used to respect the Justice Department and the FBI. Okay? I don't trust them right now. I believe they target their political opponents. And I don't know if these charges that they're bringing against Mayor Adams are legitimate or if it's lawfare. And they're just targeting it for something for some reason. I don't know. But they don't give equal justice under the law. And they don't go after people who have supposedly done things that are much worse. And that's why I'm here today. Thank you. Thank you. I, I want you to let us know that this is not about party. We are about justice. We are about public safety here. That's why we are here. Um, thank you um, Ghana, for being here. Thank you for the, for the work that you've been doing uh, for them. So now we're going to have um, Frank Garcia. He's a recently champion also um, in public safety. Frank. My name is Frank Garcia. I'm chairman of the National Association of Latino State Chambers. I was the outgoing chairman of the New York State Chamber. I had the honor to with Francisco to represent Jose Alba fighting for him. And no one has been more critical than myself as head of the Hispanic Chamber. I sued Mayor Bloomberg when they wanted to give us 1% of the contract and white women 35. And it was Mayor Eric Adams who supported the minority business, like my brother just said. I have the honor to sit on his advisory board. Do I disagree with some of his employees? Yes. But he's always called me, he said, Frank, tell me the truth. And I know that he's telling the truth, that he's innocent. And we got to give him the benefit of the doubt the same way he gave us. And I believe this is a target because of immigration. I've been working with him and bringing mayors and governors from Latin America. And some of the people say from other parties don't get involved. And he called me personally and said, how can I help those mayors and governors from Colombia, from Dominican Republic that came down to create opportunities for people not to come. That's a true leader. The people that are criticizing him talk about immigration is not doing anything. The Hispanic chambers came together to come with a plan, a white paper that he came up with with us, with Commissioner Kim. So I want to say one thing, y lo que yo dice en español, que nosotros vamos a apoyar a este alcalde. Y pedimos con nuestro hermano de Al Sharpton que está aquí, with our brother here from Al Sharpton, we're going to come together, Hispanics and African Americans, to defend the community. Because if he's no longer the mayor, we are afraid the other people are going to come in who's already proved they're anti-police and anti-community. And, and we're not going to let them become mayor. Not of our dead body. We're in the community and we vote. And we're going to say a message to the governor that my counterparts didn't say, but since I'm leaving the chamber in February, I can say it. I'm going to be very clear with governor. Uh, I'm not going to mention your name. The governor, she, she knows who she is. Today she had a Hispanic event. She didn't invite us. Why? Because she knows that we're going to call her out when she's wrong. And today she had a, we are Hispanic here. Where, where was our invitation for today's breakfast? Because she knew we were going to talk about the mayor. And she knew we were going to put pressure on her. And we're going to let her know that me and my counterparts, if she goes after Mayor Eric Adams, we're going to go after her. Thank you. Yes. Oh. Como presidente de la Asociación de Cámaras y presidente saliente de la Cámara de Nueva York, quiero dar un mensaje a la gobernadora. Que si ella sigue persiguiendo a este alcalde y los políticos, 
Nosotros entramos a ella y lo vamos a sacar. Hoy ellos tenían un evento para el desayuno. Ninguno de nosotros, líderes latinos, nos invitaron. ¿Por qué? Porque ella sabe que Francisco y yo siempre estamos aquí ayudando a ella. Y siempre contra ella porque ella no ha ayudado con el crimen. Cuando José Alba estaba, ella estaba callada. ¿Dónde estaba ella cuando José Alba estaba en la... ¿Dónde estaban los otros políticos? Eric Adams estaba ahí. Y si ella sigue y le va a sacar a nosotros, le sacamos a ella. Thank you. Now we're going to have a uh, picture de ella. Uh, she's from the uh, Muslim community. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I just want to give my testimony about Eric Adams. Um, I don't know if you got a lot of you remember, two days after, He started office. There was a really big fire in the Bronx. Okay? And Eric Adams and the whole team, even the borough president, was there 24 hours. 24 hours. Everyone was there. And he mobilized and he did things that I've never seen any administration do. Okay? And he didn't leave the side. He even went to the hospital to see the patients that were there. And he has done so much for this city. If you notice, even the Section 8 for families that hasn't been open in over 20 years, he's helping families, women of domestic violence, women that are in shelters. He's doing so much for our community. And everything that they're saying is a whole bunch of lies. And we have to give the benefit of the doubt. Okay? And it hurts me that so many people are against him after he has done so much for the community. Okay? I'm going to say it in Spanish. Si ustedes saben la historia de que Eric Adams cuando él comenzó en oficina, que había un fuego grandísimo, que se murieron 19 personas. Eric Adams hizo tanto para la comunidad, habiendo sesión 8, levantando muchas eh, eh, organizaciones que están para ayudar a la comunidad. Y tenemos que apoyarlo. Todo lo que usted está diciendo es mentira sobre él. Si tenemos que apoyarlo, si no podemos vivir aquí en papá. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Now I'm, I'm going to have a vision appear as a, he's a small business owner, uh, say something. Good afternoon, everyone. Last night I checked and I woke up this morning, I was living in America, not in a communist country, where you are guilty until you prove your innocence. This man, Eric Adams, is innocent until the end of the day is told. And being that he's innocent, he has the right Finish his term, his four year term, and he has a right to win for mayor again. We are here to back him. He's a former NYPD officer, captain. I am a retired detective at NYPD, and also a business owner. Like my head says, it should have never happened. This should have never happened to Eric Adams. It happened to him because he had the courage to get on a flight and fly down to Washington, D.C. While he was landing, the government here, the federal government, was exercising the search warrant against one of his campaign workers. This, you can see, is all planned. It was planned from the very beginning. Why? Because he had the courage to stand up against Washington, D.C. And now the one he won the wrong. He's a Democrat, they're Democrats, and now they turned their back on him. And now they've given him the Trump treatment. The right to him, and they beat the Republican. And it shouldn't happen. It should never happen. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're going to have uh, someone from the barbershop. So we, as a bodega and a small business group, uh, we represent main business, bodega, supermarket, um, barbershop, restaurant, also we have a uh, uh, restaurant owner here. So say some more, please. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Paulino. Estoy aquí representando a la comunidad de los artistas y barberos. Nos tiene a nosotros y estamos del lado de la verdad y no vamos a dejar solo a la comunidad porque esta ciudad no se puede ir al suelo. Nosotros estamos aquí para él. Mientras él no sea culpable, nosotros vamos a estar ahí con él porque él tiene la presión de inocencia y vamos a estar al lado de él, del lado de la verdad, del lado de la ciudad, de la familia, de los hijos, de los hermanos que están aquí en esta ciudad. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Ahora nosotros vamos a tener a un líder de la comunidad. Él está medio escondido por ahí. Eh, 
el señor Luis Facundo. Luis Facundo yo a decir el... palabras, yo. Ha sido un guerrero de mucho tiempo. Ha sido. Le han cerrado un camino, le han hecho todo, pero sigue luchando. Franco, felicidades por esto. Señores, América, United States of America, we can, every time we get a good man to resolve the issues of our community through our America, try to take them out. We cannot make this a issue of color because Adam is a good man. He's a man that has done a lot for the city. A lot. There was a time that some people were talking about three cities in New York City. He didn't do nothing about it. Mayor de Blasio didn't do nothing about a Latino. Adam comes in and he puts all the Latinos in check to be part of the city. We got to defend Eric Adam. We got to give the opportunity to defend itself. How come the 10 years ago he, he didn't know anything about what was going on? And all those elected officials that are talking about that he should resign, then to think when they take money just for the re-election of their campaign. Because you cannot make elected officials guilty of a process that you very well know that you don't have control of. And he returned the money. And he's honest. And he's a policeman. And he's afraid of the Dominican community. The Dominican community needs to feel grateful about having Eric Allen in place. He opened the city to us. He gave us employment at the level of the different agencies. We cannot be disgraceful. We gotta come in masses. We gotta give the opportunity. Adam fight! Adam fight! Adam fight! Adam fight! Arriba los bolivianos! Español, 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 bueno, ustedes saben que una vez yo fui un político, ya yo no lo soy, pero esto me gusta cuando veo los micrófonos. Le digo la verdad, Adam ha sido uno de los alcaldes más consecuentes que hemos tenido en la ciudad de Unidos. Desde que yo tengo experiencia, yo llegué a este país como estudiante y Bloomberg dijo que los latinos no hizo nada. Y Giuliani acabó con los latinos en nombre de la seguridad, ¿no? Y Di Blasio habló de tres. Gracias a Dios tuvimos a Dinkins, que nos ayudó. Y ahora tenemos a un mayor que nos incluyó. Y nosotros los latinos debemos ser agradecidos. Quizás no hay una posición para todo el mundo en la ciudad de Quillo. Quizás no hay una oportunidad para los pequeños negocios puesto no da y él no ha tenido el tiempo de hacer su trabajo pero él está en Dantown usando banderas para latinos está en Brooklyn para los musulmanes está en Nilo Inter para los italianos y está para todo el mundo y esas consecuencias que él hizo algo mal hecho hace más de 10 años atrás que le ponen números increíbles de corrupción que son mentiras y ya está probado que el, el dismiso Puede ser que llegue mañana de, de la corte, puede ser que no se anule mañana o hoy, creo que están yendo. ¿Por qué? Porque son inválidos. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que está pasando con mis amigos demócratas? ¿Qué es lo que ellos quieren? Perder las elecciones de Kamala, armar un lío para que nos dividamos. ¿De quién es este plan? Adam no ha hecho nada malo. Y si lo hizo, ya él dijo que él era un hombre honesto, que era un hombre que tenía la capacidad de mantener esta ciudad en sitio mientras se defendía. Y le digo la verdad, a aquellos políticos electos que estén pidiendo que hagan renuncie, que se preparen, porque ustedes mismos cogen dinero para las elecciones y nunca saben de dónde lo cogen. Y hasta que ustedes no dicen, y hasta que ustedes no dicen, o lo devuelven, ustedes son tan, tan guilty. ¿Cómo quieren hacer a Alan que dijo que él devolvió el dinero? Así que, cuidado, ¡que viva el nuevo bodeguero! Yeah. ¡Que viva el nuevo bodeguero! Y como bodeguero, vamos a tener un ícono bodeguero aquí. Yo le voy a decir algo. Un hombre bodeguero de toda la vida, dependiendo siempre a los bodegueros. Gracias, gracias. Muy buenas tardes a todos. Señores, tenemos que entender que Eddie Adam es el alcalde de esta ciudad hasta... 
sus cuatro años que cumpla. Nosotros los bodegueros, nosotros los dominicanos especialmente, hemos sido tan apoyados por Ernie Alan durante su mandato como alcalde en esta ciudad. Nosotros tenemos también que apoyarlo a él, porque eso que está sucediendo tiene que parar. Él tiene que terminar su tiempo de cuatro años que nosotros los, nosotros los votantes le dimos a él la oportunidad de dirigir esta ciudad. El Adam ha parado la corrupción, el desastre que había en esta ciudad de Nueva York, óigame, durante los años 2021, 20, 20, 19, que aquí había un descontrol increíble. Aquí se está estabilizando la comunidad, pero es gracias al poder que se está dando a la policía en estos momentos. Nosotros tenemos que seguir apoyando a Eriada hasta que esto pase, esto tiene que pasar y es salir libre de esas cosas que se están acusando. Nosotros los bodegueros, nosotros la comunidad hispana, la comunidad dominicana, que hemos tenido a un verdadero amigo los dominicanos, es Eri Adam. Ese es nuestro amigo número uno de la carne que ha estado para su apoyo todo el tiempo a la comunidad hispana, a la comunidad Los bodegueros, los bodegueros, nos estamos limpiando, nos estamos limpiando, gracias al trabajo de Eri Adam, gracias al trabajo que está haciendo la policía ahora. Y los benditos legisladores eso, que están haciendo esas leyes tan malas como la ley que hicieron, donde, donde se permite que los ladrones roben sin control hasta casi mil dólares. Eso tiene que parar, un tiene que cambiar. ¿Por qué? Porque de lo contrario, los negocios en los próximos dos, tres, cuatro, cinco años vamos a tener que cerrarlos, o vamos a tener que trabajar, la quiamo. Eso tiene que parar. Así que gracias y continúa aliado en su poder. Gracias, gracias señores, queremos darle las gracias a todos los medios de comunicación. I want to thank all of the, the media for coming. Uh, remember, we the bodegas and the small business group. We support Eddie Allen, we support the NYPD, we support law and order. Thank you. Oh. And Mr. Mayor, if you know heart, you tell us that you're innocent, we believe you. So let's fight and let's prove it. Let's prove that this is none other than a political attack. All right, so good luck, and we're standing by you. Thank you.